Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. It is another beautiful Toronto night here and I plan to take full advantage of it by shooting a few different objects tonight. Uh, they're all in the same class of objects. I plan to be shooting some star clusters and there's going to be plenty of them in the sky tonight. I plan to be capturing about three or four of these objects tonight, though there are plenty more to shoot, um, but it really depends on where they are in my sky and uh, how long I want to shoot. I'm going to be using my Raza 8 inch that you see behind me. I've shot these clusters before with the Celestron 6SC telescope, getting a bit up close and personal with them. Um, but tonight I want to try to get some more wide field shots of these clusters and to see what I'm able to pull out. So that's the plan for tonight. It's not going to be a very long night of astrophotography, but uh, it's going to be exciting nonetheless. Alright guys, the telescope is set up and I am ready to go. The only thing that needs to happen is the sun to go down and the stars to come up. Once this happens, I'm going to be pointing my telescope at the globular clusters and yeah, let's see what we get. I'm back inside and I'm using the website Telescopius to do my astrophotography planning. This is a great website for planning your astrophotography. It shows you what's high in your sky uh, and you can filter on uh, magnitude or different object types. It's a, it's a really good website and I would highly recommend it. Um, but as you can see, there are lots of clusters to take advantage of tonight. And what I'm gonna be starting on is with M3 and M53. Uh, these are both globular clusters and uh, really close together. They're also high in the sky early on in the evening, so uh, I'm going to start with those and then move over to the Hercules cluster and maybe M5 after that if, uh, if I can. But let's jump over to Stellarium and uh, I'll show you what this looks like from my backyard tonight. So I'll be shooting towards the south and uh, let's type in M3 and zoom in a bit. As you can see it's a nice star cluster, uh, nothing new there, but relatively close to that is M53. Uh, and again, yeah, these, these objects are both high in the sky for me to take advantage of early on. Uh, then later on, I'll move over to some of the other star clusters in the night sky. Anyways, I'm still waiting for that sun to go down, so I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So I'm about to start my session. I have astrophotography tool opened and I'm about to take my first uh, 15 second subs. I'm just waiting for my cooling aid to get to minus 20 degrees Celsius and then I'll start taking my first frames. Let's see what this first frame looks like. All right, I can see there's stars there and I can also see that there's a bit of fuzz there. Maybe if I do some stretching here, we'll be able to see that a bit better. Nice, so that's gonna look pretty good. I'm excited for that. Alright, so uh, I'm going to let this run for about 15 minutes and then switch over to M3. So uh, yeah, as with always, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Alright guys, it's about 12 o'clock at night and I've already finished capturing two uh, star clusters, both M53 and M3. I'm going to now move to M13, the Hercules cluster, and start taking some subs on that. And uh, after that I might try to get M5 as well. So that'll be four clusters in one night, and if I get that done, that'd be awesome. Um, anyways, the night is going well. I'm going to continue um, taking some more shots, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I'm going to keep this a bit short. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm done my imaging session. I was able to shoot five Messier objects tonight, which is pretty awesome. Um, those are all star clusters. Uh, I'm really excited to take this data inside and start processing something, but that's not going to be tonight. That's going to be another night. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.